So today I will be showing you a demonstration on how I use the Pomegranate and Honey line by Mayel. And I'm so excited to share this with you. I just wait and see. <laughs> So first off, I started with the shampoo. It's called the Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo. Cleanses with rich lather and silky slip to pre-detangle thick, curly, tight forehair. From the very beginning, it, it says it is for tight forehair. Where do you usually see that at? You usually see products that say for all curl types. This specifically says tight forehair already got me when i was trying to pick out which myel product to get that kind of sold me on it so sulfate free it's moisturizing and detangling shampoo let's read the instructions apply generous amount onto hands and massage into wet hair and scalp until it lathers gently finger comb to pre-detangle rinse with warm water repeat as necessary Follow with our pomegranate and honey moisturizing and detangling conditioner. And I must say that this was a pretty good shampoo. It tells you to finger detangle and I was able to do that. No problems with both of my textures. Of course, it's a little rough in the middle, like right at the line of demarcation, but I was still able to go through my two textures without an issue. So now let's read the ingredients. First ingredient here is water, then you have sodium C1416, olefin, sulfonate, and then some other ones that I can't pronounce. So this does say no parabens, no sulfates, no paraffins, no mineral oil, no animal testing. But there's a sulfonate, maybe that's not a sulfate, but I mean, they sound just alike, so I wonder what those are. I really like the shampoo. I had no problems with this at all, it gave me good slip for both of my hairs. Shampoo slip. That's not very common. So good job with the shampoo, Mayo. Next, I am going to talk about the conditioner. It's the Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Conditioner. Deeply hydrates, conditions, and silkens thick, curly type 4 hair. Once again, it is for type 4 hair. So, woohoo for that. After cleansing with our moisturizing and detangling shampoo, apply to wet hair and gently comb through from ends to scalp. Leave in for 10 to 15 minutes. Rinse thoroughly. This was also good. I left this in for about 20 minutes. It says 10 to 15, but I left it in for 20 minutes. Not a big deal. I wish I could show you the inside and how much I used. I can see it, but it goes down to right here. So I think I did use a lot more than I was probably supposed to, but I felt like I needed to because my hair is so thick. I don't know, I just feel like I need to apply more conditioner because now that my hair is really thick, so, I don't know. Let me know if you think I used too much. Well, I guess you can't really see. I didn't put the whole clip of me using the conditioner, but I don't know, maybe I used too much. Well, I mean, how can you ever use too much conditioner? Anyways, I really like this conditioner as well. Good slip, it smells good. All the products smell so divine. Oh. It's so fruity. So with the smell, this smell was kind of strong. It did linger in my hair, 
for the wash day and then the following day. Right now it's, a, it's the second day after wash day and I just took out my braids. So I do not smell the products in my hair right now. I smell them in my hands, but not in my hair like they were yesterday and the day before. So I would say that if you don't like your products to linger, like the smell to linger, maybe this won't be a good one. It was only two days, but, and I enjoyed it. I. I feel like my stomach is kind of sensitive to fruity and really strong smells, especially in the morning, but I didn't have any problem with this. So that's just a heads up with these products. The smell does linger for a couple of days. Next I went in with something that you guys already know that I love. This is definitely a staple in my products and my hair regimen, the Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. I'm not even going to give a review on this. You guys know I love this. If you want to see a review on the Babasu and Mint line, I will leave it up in the cards above. Just know that it's perfect for transitioning hair. I will say that over and over again. And no, Mayel is not paying me for this. I want to get paid. So hey, Mayel, I'm here. I'm uh, promoting your products. <laughs> Anyways, yes review up above if you want to see the full thing so after deep conditioning with this i left this on for about an hour or so i used the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner moisturizing curl primer and detangler for thick curly type 4 hair apply a generous amount to section hair after conditioning work product through with your favorite detangler tool do not rinse leave in and i did just that i think i used a, a quite a bit of this too it goes down to here uh, you can't see it because the bottle is dark, but I definitely use a lot of this. It did make my hair soft and it helped me with the detangling of the hair. So I would say this is good. I did have to, I think I did have to use a little bit more than I'm used to using just because I didn't think a little bit worked. So, I mean, I don't, like I said before, I don't think there's really too, I don't think you can put too much conditioner in your hair. Maybe that's just me, but... I don't know I used a lot of this and I did not have a problem the smell with the whole line is consistent and I really like that because sometimes there are products within one line that smell like bubble gum and some smell like fruity and so to have that whole like to have that consistent smell throughout the whole line was a pro for me it was very good to have that I really appreciate that Next, I use the Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Custard. And here it says Deep Definition on the back. And this explains kind of why I bought this one instead of the other product. And I forget the name of the other product, but I'll leave it to the side. So this one, it says it has the definition is deep and the product consistency is light. And the other product said that the definition was soft and the product consistency was heavy so it was like you have to choose which one you want it for your particular style and I chose this one but I didn't read this until I got home it says this is typically used for wash and go so I probably picked up the wrong product but I mean I don't the only thing that I had bad to say about this it made like some of my hair like really hard so I'm gonna pull out if I can find it pull out game strong <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh so here i don't know if you can tell but it's like kind of hard you can't tell that it's hard from the video but you can tell that it's not moving like if i wanted to pull it apart it's not coming so that is the only con to this I should have got the uh, the one with the softer def softer definition because I didn't want my braids to be hard. This is basically sort of like a gel, which I kind of wasn't expecting. I guess I've never had a custard before, and so maybe a custard is supposed to be like a gel. And obviously it is because it says that the hard the not hard. It says that the definition is deep. So I'm expecting a longer hold on this. So hopefully the braid out lasts longer than. A braid out normally does on my hair so can't really say anything bad about this it is a like a slimy gooey consistency 
make sure you close your cap before transporting it and that is how i spilled this i literally just bought this container and half of it is already gone and that's because i try to move this i had these like stacked up on top of this and i was trying to move the whole line together and this fell right down my sink so i was very upset i spent 14 dollars on this and i'm not going to be able to experience the full jar so that kind of sucks but warning make sure you put the lid on these two items in particular because these are very loose like i can hear it shaking both of them they sound like liquid like gel like i mean sorry like, they sound like water so make sure you put the top on those so overall there is nothing really bad to say about any of these products good slip for the most part y'all know this is one of my favorites i will definitely be using these again i used a big a good chunk of all the products actually so i don't think they will be here long if i am consistent with using them but i have so many products now i'm already a product junkie and i'm not even fully natural yet but i was already a product junkie before i even went natural so i guess i mean how can you go back from being a product junkie it's so hard when there's so many new products that come out all the time so um, yes, like I was saying before, I love this line. It smells so good, it's very fruity. Like I said before, if you do not like your products to linger, although it only lingered for two days or one and a half day technically, this might not be the product for you. But if you want good slip and you're transitioning like myself, this might be the product for you. And I just wanted to give a reminder that these are all my opinions. These are the results that happened when I used it for my hair. Everyone's hair is not the same. So I do want to just say that first. And there it is. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you purchase this line or pieces of the line. If you want to try a shampoo with good slip, try this, try things one at a time. I don't know, I like to try the whole thing together and then I can probably pick and choose which pieces I want to incorporate with my wash day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Also subscribe and click the bell to be notified whenever I post. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Deep in the, con con the, in the product consistency is light. And lastly, oh. <laughs> so after I didn't realize how much I like to talk with my hands until I have products in my hand I see my hands going like this and I actually see the product moving in front of me <laughs> okay um yeah so thank you bye <laughs> if y'all haven't caught on by now I am a little goofy so I wanted to bring you know I wanted to show my personality in my videos so that's me. This is me. <laughs> All right. Bye.